Hey guys, it's Kate Lauren here and I made a seasonal to-do list for those who aim to complete their bundles and achievements in the easiest way possible. I left out the items needed in bundles that aren't found in one or two seasons only as those can be gotten anytime and there's no need to look out for certain events or times when searching for them. These items are available in one or two seasons only on special occasions so this is an easy way to be aware of what to do during each season for bundles and some achievements such as polyculture and full shipment which can take long to achieve. Basically what you should start off with is looking for the spring foraging bundle so that is horseradish, leek, a daffodil and dandelion which you can pick up anywhere just on the floor in the forest that's the easiest thing to get started on so put that on your to-do list first. You should always start farming on the first day of each season. So when spring starts, go to Piers and buy at least 40 parsnips for the spring crops, quality crops, polyculture and full shipment achievements. Once the 40 parsnips have grown, save 5 gold ones for quality crops, 15 for the shipment achievements and 1 for the spring crops bundle. You can save the leftover parsnips for any cooking that involves parsnips. Or you can just sell them. On top of farming the 40 parsnips, you should also buy 20 green beans, 20 cauliflowers and 20 potatoes. So you'll be able to sell 15 of them to get the achievement and then you'll obviously have one for the bundle. On top of buying those things, if you have enough money, you can also buy a cherry tree seed and an apricot tree seed because you'll need them for the artesian bundle and it's spring and that's when they bloom. Now on to fish. If it's a sunny day during spring, then you can go to the lake to catch a carp, a bullhead and a largemouth bass. If it's a sunny day, you can also go and get a sunfish at the river, as well as getting a sardine in the ocean. If it's raining in spring, then go to the river to catch a catfish and a shad. And when it's nighttime, go to the ocean to get an eel because they only appear at nighttime and when it's raining. Remember, some of these fish are only available in spring, so it's best to get them as soon as possible and they're not difficult to catch. All these items are important to harvest during spring because most of them and all of the crops aren't available during other seasons. Summer's foraging bundle consists of the sweet pea, spiceberry and grape, which you can pick up just like the spring foraging bundle. For the summer crops bundle and the achievement, you'll need to grow at least 20 tomatoes, 20 peppers, 40 melons and 40 corn. The corn and melons will count towards the quality crops bundle too, so just remember to save 5 gold ones of each. Melons are very profitable in summer, as are blueberries, so feel free to grow a lot of them. Make sure to buy 40 wheat too, as that counts for the fodder bundle. During the daytime, go to the lake to catch a sturgeon and then go to the ocean to catch a tuna, a red snapper and a tilapia. Pufferfish can also be caught in the early afternoon. If you are past the first year, then Pierre starts selling red cabbage during the second year, which is needed for the dye bundle. So you can buy that too. And now for fall. For the fall foraging bundle, you'll need a blackberry, hazelnut, wild plum and common mushroom. So for the fall crops bundle, now you already have the corn, so all you need to do is buy 20 eggplants, 20 pumpkins, 20 yams. And also for the dye bundle, you'll need a sunflower, so buy 20 sunflowers too. If you have the money, buy an apple seed and plant it because you need three apples for the fodder bundle and they only bloom in fall, as well as the pomegranate tree for the enchanter bundle. For fish during fall, when it's nighttime and it's raining, go to the river to get a walleye and during the day go to the river to get a tiger trout. And now last but not least, winter. For the winter foraging bundle, you'll need a winter root, a crystal fruit, a snow yam and a crocus. The last thing that you'll only find in winter is a nautilus shell, which you can find on the beach during winter. Thank you so much for watching this guide. Please like, subscribe and comment your opinion. Bye!